faced by each one of us and I feel overcoming them is what makes our life interesting and meaningful. But sometimes we get stuck into the problems and we start worrying. Worrying simply means thinking about something unpleasant that might happen in a way that makes you feel unpleasant, unhappy, unpleasant and not satisfied. Many of, the, many of us keep on worrying about various things. 97% of the things we worry about never actually happen. Stop Worrying and Start Living is a book written by Dale Carnegie as he felt that he was one of the saddest lads in New York and which he attributes to finding out how to stop worrying and start living. So, each one of us must realize that it is really important to stop worrying. Here comes the story. Death was walking towards the city one morning and a man asked, What are you going to do? Death replied, I am going to take hundred people. Man said, That's horrible. And Death replied, That's what I do. It's my job. The man warned everyone in the city he could about the death plan. And then the, uh, most of the people started worrying about the thing. As the evening fell, the man met the death again and asked, You told you were going to take hundred people, but why did thousand people die? Death replied, It is just because of their worrying habit. They worried that they could be amongst the hundred who were going to die. This is the reason why the thousand people died. So, before starting up with the core of my topic, I would like a huge share up. Here are some of the fundamental facts that you should know about worry. It takes away your inner peace. The peace that you must possess to live a happy and a peaceful life. But peace is not something to wish for. It is something you give away, something you wish, something you take and something you do. It consumes most of your energy and time that could be utilized in doing something better and eventually a productive thing. Most importantly, remind yourself of the evil effects of worry on your health. Remember one thing about worry. Funeral pyre kills you once, but anxiety and worry kills you many times. Chinta aapko ek baar jalai, but chinta baar baar jalai. Here are some of the basic techniques in analyzing worry. Let me ask you a question. Assume a situation where you are given 7 out of 10 pieces of a puzzle and you are asked to solve that puzzle. Yes, anyone can solve that puzzle? No. Just because you don't have all the pieces, right? So, it's really important to get all the facts so as to come to the proper conclusion. Half of the worry in the world is caused by the people trying to make decisions before they have appropriate knowledge. Unless you have sufficient knowledge, you cannot possibly even attempt to make a decision and come to a solution. So get all the facts in an impartial manner. Then analyze them and come to its solution. Once the decision is reached, you plan its execution and then act upon it. So, it's really important to break off this worry habit before it actually breaks you. Keep yourself busy doing something as it is said that empty mind is devil's workshop. So, it's really important to keep yourself busy doing something positive, important and more, more important and productive than just worry. Don't fuss about little trivials that happens in everyone's life. We often think about the little things that happen and trouble our own selves. Cooperate with the inevitable. It's really important for all of us to understand that everything cannot be into our control. But you can control the way you respond towards things. Adjust your attitude and all the extra stress is gone. Today is a choice. Today choose grace over impatience, beauty over negativity and presence over panic. So, this brings me to 7 ways to cultivate a mental attitude that will bring peace and happiness in everyone's lives. Fill your mind with thoughts of peace and happiness. Never try to get with your enemies. The most disastrous happiness
habit that we all possess is we often enjoy focusing on our enemy's flaws. So it's better not to get with our enemies and instead helping improving ourselves and criticizing ourselves. Try to profit from your losses. As important is to realize your mistakes so as to profit from them. Create happiness around you and stay happy. I would like to say pray often so to conquer all these evil things. And remember one thing, prayer does not contain of complaints. It only contains of gratitude and thankfulness for whatever you have got around you. And don't think you have not got enough of the things for you. So, lastly, I would like to say, apply these few things in your life whenever you are struck up in your, into a problem. And see what, life, what magic the life shows. Lastly, Look to this day, for it is life, the very of life. In its brief course, lie all varieties and realities of your existence. The bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of achievement. For yesterday is only a dream, and tomorrow a vision. But today you will makes yesterday a dream of happiness, and tomorrow a vision of new hope. Look well, therefore, to this day.